question is, when staring at your big goal and it seems like a massive elephant that you can't conquer, what will you do? Well, that's the question. And this podcast, Eat Your Elephant, is here to help you to find the answer that will keep you moving forward and making progress. Because you can eat your elephant one bite at a time. I'm your host, Nick Macy, and let's dive right in. Well, hello there. So glad that you're here today. Hope you had a wonderful uh, Christmas. You know, you and yours enjoyed your time together. If you don't celebrate Christmas, uh, that's cool. I uh, hope you're having a great time at the end of this year, too. Well, it is the end of the year, and so obviously it's a great time to start thinking about goals. Because really, anytime there's an end in one period of time and we're getting ready to start a new one, it's a good time to see where you're at. See where you want to go, making the adjustments that you want to make. That way you can have the life that you want to have, hit your goals, and just enjoy life. It's a wonderful thing to do when there's any sort of transition. If you want to know any of the things that help keep me uh, going in the right direction and, and staying on track, you can go to nickmazy.com slash rex. That's R-E-X. And that's for some recommended books and products and, and services and all that stuff uh, to help make that journey towards your goals a little bit faster or easier. But today, today I'm going to step out on a limb. And I'm going to say that you probably want next year to be better than this last one, right? Well, of course, because better is good. And there's nothing wrong with wanting the future to be better than the past. Even if the past was good and, and, you know, and things were, were awesome, great. But striving to be better is, is still a good thing. And there's nothing wrong with setting a goal to be better. Well, or is there? Is there something that's a little off with it? I want to say there's anything wrong, but maybe maybe striving for better uh is just not a complete goal. See, most people, I think, uh, want life to be better. But what does better really mean? Because better, see, better is vague. Uh, if you're setting your goal to be better, uh, I don't think it really helps you to achieve it. You know, we want to set goals that, that help us to achieve them uh, because how they're set. So here are just a few reasons on why I say for this upcoming year and for any goal that you have, be specific. Don't just say better, okay? So I say set specific goals, not vague ones. Because, first of all, you'll know what you'll need to do. If it's a vague goal, then you don't really know exactly what, what to do. If you just say, I want to be healthier. Okay, that's, you know, get, improving your health is a great thing to do. But if you're not specific on how to do that, then does that mean that you're exercising more and you want to get stronger or do you want to reduce your levels of stress because that can improve your health or do you want to eat better? Uh, you know, what, what specific areas are you trying to improve uh, your health in? So being a little bit more specific, well, it'll start you on the right path of knowing what you need to do to achieve it. Also on the way to a goal, you're probably going to have to make adjustments to the plan. Uh, you know, I say sometimes it's not best to adjust the goal, but just adjust the plan on how to get there. Well, a vague goal, it's going to make it very difficult to know when you need to make that adjustment. But if you have a specific goal, if you know exactly what you are working toward, then you can see it's easier to see if you're getting off track and you got to make a slight adjustment to get there. So set that specific goal and you'll know when you need to adjust that plan. Also, You'll know when you achieve your goal, because if the goal is very vague, then you might just keep, if, just say, let's talk about improving your health. If you just want to get healthier, then you're just going to keep working at it and keep working at it. And you might not ever know if you've actually achieved your goal. And really that can just be exhausting because you're always striving going forward and, and you never really have time to celebrate where you've got. It's like starting to run, uh, a 5k, you know, 3.1 miles, but there's no goal. There's no end. There's no finish. And before you know it, you're just going to be exhausted and, and feel like giving up and not know that you already really achieved what you want to achieve. And having that specific goal, that way, you know, when you've achieved them allows you to celebrate and celebrating your victories is an awesome thing. It, it, it's, it's energizing. It, it, it improves the mood. It is a wonderful thing. You got to be able to celebrate what you've done and what you've achieved. And that celebration, 
See, that celebration and that specific goal can can help get you, give you some motivation. It can help you to keep moving forward, either toward the current goal or to be able to jump to the next one once you've completed one. So having that specific goal helps with that motivation too. And let me tell you, when you're working toward that specific goal, when, when you know what you're going toward and you can begin to see that finish line and you're getting closer, that is an awesome thing. Not that long ago, I had the opportunity, uh, called an opportunity, <laughs> to, to run a half marathon with my wife. Longest distance I've ever done, uh, never trained like that before. Uh, it was a big thing for me. And when I saw that finish line, Oh my gosh, that was one of the best feelings I've had. It was energizing, exciting, motivating. And I just got this tunnel vision and I started running and flying toward that finish line. And that is a great thing. When you can see that finish line toward of your goals, just do it. Set that specific goal so you can fi- see that finish line coming and enjoy that time. So that's kind of my pitch on set specific goals. Yes, strive to be better. Just define what better is in that goal that you're setting, okay? Now, if you really want to add some power to that goal, uh, really increase the likelihood of you achieving it, uh, and frankly, make that journey more enjoyable too, uh, write them down. Uh, having written goals helps you to achieve them. You know, written goals is, is a common factor in those that uh, are successful, that achieve their goals, that hit their uh, things they're working toward. So, and also writing them down can really help you to be specific on it. Because as you're writing, you're going to you know, try to define what that is that you're working toward. Uh, and I know writing goals can be a challenge, you know, especially when you're getting specific with them. It can make it, it can be a little bit difficult, uh, but it's worth it. They're your goals. They've, they better be important to you if they're your goals. So do what's needed to do to achieve them. Write down your goal. Get specific. Write why you want to achieve it. What will that goal allow you to experience? See, that's going to add some power to it. Now you can see it, you can know that you can do it, and then take action and make it happen. This is this year coming up. Make it your year. All right. Do the things you want to do. Hit your goals. Enjoy your life. Because it's worth it. It's worth all the effort to make it happen. Well, thanks for listening to Eat Your Elephant. Uh, I really do hope that you, you you hit your goals and you make your life what you want it to be. And one of my goals is to have this podcast help people. If uh, if you want to help me out with that goal, I would greatly appreciate it. All you got to do is rate and review this podcast, and that way more people can find it. Well, thanks for listening. Take care. Hope you have a, had a wonderful year and are going to have a wonderful one coming up too. And I'll talk to you in the next episode.